All right, hey, welcome back everybody. <clears throat> Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Griot's Boss foaming kit. I won this on Instagram for Father's Day. So uh, to Griot's Garage, thank you very much. Just my first initial thoughts on this and in 100% transparency, when this released, I was thinking it's been like 10 years, but I'm looking back on the inter internet and I think the earliest video I can find is uh, 2018. So it's five-year-old system. I thought it was older than that. Anyway, when it first released, I remember thinking, I want to try that. But at that time, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't believe in pressure washers. I was like, well, pressure washers are garbage. People rely on the pressure. They don't use quality products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went down this whole thing of denial, I guess. And I didn't have a foam cannon. Anyway, I've gone through several now. Here I am with this. An initial response to the boss system. This is absolutely genius. The foam cannon so far, I mean, just, you know, moving the water blades or whatever in the knob, adjustment, the suction tube, the metering system, which is phenomenal. Everything fills quality. Uh, the stainless steel looks better than any of the foam cannons I have on the wall. And you'd be like, whoa, whoa, how many foam cannons do you have? <laughs> let's take a look. Uh, let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now nine. And that position up there on the right of the active logo used to be my MTM. So what I do, it's kind of my system, that would be my number one cannon, two, three, and coming down this way. So the MJJC, arguably the V3 is arguably the best cannon on the market, depending on what you're looking for. The quarter turn um, head that goes on the canister, quarter turn is amazing, that's brilliant. And they always put out thick foam. But I moved my MTM over a notch, downgraded it, because this Griot's just looks like quality. Plus it has the metering tip that comes with it that goes in the weighted knob or the weighted ball at the bottom of the foam cannon. So with Griot's system, Another genius move. You can either premix chemicals and use a foam cannon or two or eight, or you can take that bottle off of the foam cannon, use the metering tips, and screw their bottles directly onto the cannon. Genius. I'm just going to say it. That's genius. So, to Griot's Garage, all around good on that. Um, I'll show you the car real quick. I don't want to ramble on too much, get too boring. To show you the layer of dirt that we have going on here it's just dusty so with this system you can use it as completely touchless which i probably will with this i probably will it looks like it's doable that's a thick layer of dirt though look at that dust man that's pretty dirty that's the valley i'm in that's one week and garaged one week um <clears throat> so with this system they recommend if you have a super dirty car, which I don't consider this super dirty. Depends. I mean, you city folks, that would be like annihilated. Uh, in the valley here, that's just one week. That's just normal. So we're going to do it touchless. Um, they recommend doing the touchless system minus the poly uh, gloss, which is their protectant. Don't do that. After you do the touchless, go ahead and soap it down one more time and do a mitt wash if your car is hammered. Okay then protect as a final step and dry. Oh, oh, also, the kit came with a towel. I want a PFN. This is their, and that is an amazing towel, by the way. I bought one a couple years back, and I thought, hey, I can't be that great. It's amazing. Reminds me of the Dreadnought. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, this, this Ultimate kit came with everything I'll need to do this car. And I think I'm going to be perfectly happy with it. Oh, one last thing, real quick. Anybody interested in a hat like this? I'm not starting a merch line. I thought about it, but it's just too expensive. I'm not made of money. I would do it, but the wife's like, you're not doing it. Anyway, I have one left. Anybody in the United States? 50 bucks. I know that's ridiculous. I'm literally going to make $5 on that hat. Literally. So if I sell five hats, I can make one more hat. The shipping's what's biting you guys in the butt. Um, 
There's a gentleman that wanted one. I sent him my email for PayPal. He never sent the money. So I have one left. It was his hat. Not gonna say any names. He didn't send the money, so I still have one left. Anyway, let's just get down to this system. I don't know what you guys wanna see uh, or how you wanna see it first, so let's do this. I'm gonna point you just right there at the foam cannon and bottles. So this is mixed 10 to one right here. And they give you an awesome line over here and guide. You go to the first line with water, you fill that gap with the chemical, and then you top it off with more water. This is a pre-spray for your super dirty panels, your rockers, wheels, whatever. Then we're gonna come in with the wash, rinse, polygloss, rinse, and this video will be concluded. That'll be it because it's already gonna be long enough. Where do you wanna be to see the car? I'm thinking probably somewhere like this, maybe. You can just watch the action. Try not to talk too much. And we will just get her done. I really hope that's a good view. I get a lot of complaints on things. Uh, YouTubers would understand. That's why you guys edit. Uh, I don't because editing takes patience and time. I really do try to streamline this. Okay, we're going to get it on. Let's go. Just put the product directly on the foam cannon mouth with the metering system and I chose the I want to say aqua metering tip which is mega foam ish so I know you guys like foam crazy foam um, so I opted for that one for your viewing pleasure so what I'm gonna do first though which makes sense surface prep let's pre soak Set up to five minutes. Uh, the longer you dwell, the better results you're going to have, obviously. But you don't want to let it dehydrate and dry on the panel. Same as any other chemical. That was the surface prep mix 10 to 1. And they've got the, the fill lines here for you guys. Just follow the lines. Now we're going to do the surface, uh, I mean the uh, wash. First use of their foam cannon, the boss it says right here, pretty cool. But I intercepted this, obviously they mailed it to my wife. It says the boss right there, so I think they meant to send it to the, the missus. All right, here we go. Now the part that kills me, the weight. I'm gonna 
give that a minute or two. So, as I suspected, uses quite a bit of chemical. Actually, it's not too bad. You can change the metering tip to the purple, I think. But this was the mega foaming tip. So if you use the mega foaming tip, probably gonna get a little expensive for you. gloss connected um, this will be the protectant at the end I didn't want to use the heavy foaming tip on this I don't want a lot of this on the car but as you can see this is already dehydrating drying out we need to rinse also touchless washes rinse bottom up then do another rinse top down it's just the way it goes We're going to start the top down. Very annoying and boring, and for that, I apologize.
All right, let's bring you in, give you a break from the whining of that pressure washer. Just look at it wet. It's hard to tell anything when it's wet. But to me, she's looking pretty good. Now, to the guys that say you're going to get micro marring, yeah, I think you will with any wash you do. If you're in an ag environment like me, look at that field across the street. When you get even a five mile an hour wind, that stuff lands on all the cars. I even found the other day, tried polishing something, and it had found its way into my pads. I'm gonna have to move my polishing pads inside the house, inside a bag, inside a closet. So, that's just reality. It doesn't matter what you do, at least here, I think you're gonna get some marring eventually. It's almost impossible to keep them from uh, getting some kind of a love mark, towel mark, swirl mark, spider webbing, blah, 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 whatever you wanna call it. So, now we're gonna go for the protection again. I didn't want to use the foaming tip and put a ton of this down, but we're already hooked up. Don't want any more delays. Let's just hit it. Let's see what happens with this stuff. For those of you wondering, and I doubt many of you are, the smells, the scents that they put into these products are amazing. You're going to get addicted just with the sniffy sniff. I want to use them all the time. They smell amazing. Now, I'm not sure what this uh, polygloss is made from, but the ones that I've used that are like this, foam and rinse, you never want to let these dehydrate on the panel. They will streak a water spot. Uh, letting them set to set into the paint's good, but in the valley where I'm at, I think we're probably already at about 80 degrees, 85 degrees in sun. You better get moving. Just saying from my, my experience, and I've used like four of these, so... Not an expert on chemistry, but I know what I see. Watch the back side of the car. I don't know if you can see it with the shadowing, but if you're watching that panel I was rinsing in the trunk, when you hit it with the first pass, there's a little haze left behind like there's a residue. That's intentional. You have to get that little bit of residue off to fully remove it from the panel.
Yes, you're supposed to launder these first. Guess what? Not gonna. Okay, so from what I can tell, this worked amazing. Hobbyists, people that wash your own cars, pressure washers, definitely recommend this. Mobile guys, hmm, probably not something you're gonna use because it's gonna be get very costly very quick. Um, let's just see what the back panel looks like once I dry it. Let's check it out. looks great now would there be some micro marring I think any system you use I don't care what it is especially in a dirty environment like I'm in you're definitely gonna get some micro marring um, the only way to cut that down would be literally to maybe do two or three passes with the surface prep a pass or two with the soap Use maybe five, six, seven drying towels. And even then, I'll bet you anything. Because every week when I wash cars, I get a little burst of uh, wind. It blows a fern on the car. Light particles of dirt that you can't see. Getting on the surface and in that towel. I don't think there's truly a way to stop micromarring. I don't. So, anyway, the Boss Foaming System by Griot's Garage. I can recommend it and say for you enthusiasts at home, give it a shot. So far, I'm impressed. And thank you again to Griot's Garage for sending this out quick and giving me the honor of uh, reviewing it. Really appreciate it. Take care.